Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 7th through the 13th of January, 2024. I hope you guys all had a great New Year's. I am going to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. And if you find that that is your situation, guys, just uh, check your other signs and placements and then check those readings out. They may resonate better. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. That's not unusual in a general reading. And as always, Gemini, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that is just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Gemini? Gemini. All right, Gemini, you are starting out with the Nine of Cups. You have the Devil. And then coming out together is the Knight of Cups along with the Chariot. All right. So, Gemini, I feel like something has happened that has made you unhappy. It's like a wish was denied or your wishes were not fulfilled in some way. And it may be due to some sort of toxicity as well. I do see you moving on from that situation, either offering love or, or receiving love in another direction. Probably from somebody that you have a very strong tie to. So that's interesting. Let's see who's in your energy. If you're offering love to somebody, I, I feel like you're just... Um, you're going to be very successful with it. I just heard marching orders. Somebody got their marching orders. I don't know what that means. All right. So the person in your energy, Gemini, has the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. All right, so this is somebody who is an overthinker. They're definitely up in their head. They feel very trapped in their feelings right now or their thoughts, to be more precise. There's been a very painful ending here. I feel like you didn't get what you wanted. They didn't get what they wanted in this connection. But this person feels betrayed. And they're definitely thinking about it. They're, they're overthinking it, in fact. Um, with the Queen of Wands here, this person has a lot of attraction towards you. And it could be that um, there's been some sort of third-party energy. Either this person was a third party or they're saying that you had a third party or they did. There's something to do with possibility of a third party. I definitely see this person feeling, you know, very betrayed though with this ending here and definitely up in their head. I'm going to clarify this Queen of Wands. Now, you could be dealing with a fire sign, which would be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, this would be somebody that typically people are very drawn to this person. They're, they're very attractive. People are drawn to them, and they're very charismatic. So, let's see the energy between the two of you. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So, we have two queens. So there's somebody between the two of you. This person was most likely a third party. There's a there's another person between the two of you, and it it's somebody who is in a committed relationship, but you don't want to be with this person. But I feel like the person in your energy here has experienced a painful ending with you because of this Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, I'm seeing third party in this, definitely. Let me see what's affecting this connection. So, you have a very, very strong attraction to this person. But it's toxic because of the third party situation. Page of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, so... You may not be telling this person everything. You're keeping secrets, Gemini. There's things that you're holding back. You're not telling them. There could even be lies that are in, in affecting this connection. Um, for a few of you, there's a lack of communication right now. The person in your energy, Gemini, they are they're kind of going through it. They can't seem to free themselves from this energy, but they can't really figure out which direction to move either. Let's see... Oh, the Justice card. Sign of Libra. 
We also have um, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But with the justice here, things are going to balance out. Justice is going to be brought to this situation. I feel like you might be moving forward, Gemini, offering this person love. Some of you may physically be moving or physically traveling as well. Ooh, look at that. Bottom of the deck is the death card. So that's underlying energy. So something is transforming here. All right, let's um let's clarify. Very interesting. Why is the nine of cups in reverse? All right, I'm not accepting all of that. That was a lot. Spirit, why is the nine of cups in reverse? Okay, we have the ten of coins reversed, and we have the nine of wands reversed. Yeah, so there was an ending here. I see it in their energy. I see it in your energy. You may have received advice as well, Gemini, from close friends or close family members that may have been bad advice. I feel like you don't really trust. Um, you either don't trust this Queen of Pentacles or you don't trust this person in your energy. I do feel like um, some of you want to work things out. But it's, it's difficult for me to see right now if you're trying to work things out with the person that there's a committed relationship or the third party. Yeah, a lot of you may have decided that the committed relationship that you're in is just not a relationship you want. And you've given up on trying to work things out with that person. Knight of Swords. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you have a very strong attraction to this person. But like I said, there's toxicity here because of the nature of the relationship. I do feel like somebody is speaking their truth here. I feel like this person may have spoken truth to you. Because I see that what's affecting the connection is like omitted truths. It's not that... Um, necessarily that there were outright lies, although there might have been smaller ones, but it was a lack of information. It was withholding information that needed to come out. So somebody is going to speak their truth about this, and I do feel like after the, the truth is spoken, the other party, one of you just kind of shuts it down. Let's look at the bottom energy. All right, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Tower in Reverse, and there again is that Page of, of Swords in the Reverse. So, you're trying to avoid a Tower moment here. For some of you, the Tower moment occurred and you, you're trying to recover things. This would be with the person in your energy here because you see them as a soulmate. You're trying to get on the same page with this person you're wanting to move forward and offer your, your cup of love to them. But I do feel that there is a lack of communication. And for some of you, you might be popping up on this person. You might be traveling. They don't even know you're coming. But I do see you trying to either rebuild after a tower moment has happened or to, and that's for most of you, but you also are trying to avoid a tower moment. And that's why you've been keeping things to yourself. Not really saying what needed to be said. Let's look at your person's energy. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Chariot. Yeah, and the Two of Wands reversed. So your person is trying to move forward from this painful ending. They feel that either you didn't choose them or they could be choosing to now move in another direction. But they, I feel for most of them, they felt betrayed. They feel like you didn't choose them. So they're trying to move forward. Um, it's been very painful for this person. Why is the Eight of Swords here? So they wonder if there's ever going to be a reconciliation. There's a lot of confusion in their energy. And this is why they're doing a lot of overthinking. They feel trapped in confusion they realize that they have other options, but I feel like they would like a reconciliation with you. But they feel like they can't escape the confusion that has come about since the two of you had this painful ending. That's too many. 
feel like there's a lot that needs to be said between you and this person. And a lot that's not being said. All right, we have the Four of Swords reversed. We have the Sun. And we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So, I believe this person would have been the third party. I feel like this they've taken a break from this relationship. They're trying to move forward because they're realizing that they're very unhappy with the being in this third party situation. That's not what they wanted. They they can see very clearly that it's this situation, the the nature of the situation between the two of you that's making them very unhappy. So I do see communication. Um it may be prompted by this person. But I do see them communicating that to you after a break in the communication. So they they feel that they're seeing more clearly now. But they're just unhappy with how everything has turned out. Yeah. I do feel like they would like a reconciliation though, Gemini. Let's see um, why the Queen of Pentacles is here. I'm very curious about that. All right, we have the Six of Coins in the reverse, and we have the Star card. <clears throat> yeah, this person's trying to heal their energy, Gemini. I, in your energy, I feel, like, um, I feel like you've given up on a situation with someone else, someone you were in a committed relationship with. You've discovered that this is not where your heart is, is leaning. It's not your wish fulfillment. I do feel like you are going to be ending this situation if you haven't already. And I do see you feeling that there could be loss of finances as a result of it. I see that, you know, this has been an unbalanced connection between you and this person for a long time. And that's probably why this third party came into the, the connection. Now, the person that is in your energy here is a third party. And this person is hoping that you move forward. They're hoping that you, you, you know, would move forward, but it looks as if there's been a painful ending between the two of you and this person is trying to heal themselves after feeling that they were betrayed, that you didn't choose them, that you chose this queen of pentacles. So let's see why the page of swords is here. I do feel like there's a lack of communication right now. I mean, this is very sad on, on every front. Now, for some of you, you may find yourself on the other side, the energies having switched. So, just if it resonates, put yourself where you belong. Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so. I feel like you're going to communicate honestly with this person after not, not communicating for a while. I do feel that this person may have given you a, they may have declared some things to you that were very truthful. And after that, the two of you went into non-communication. I see you communicating with this person, bringing truth, bringing clarity after a period of no, no talking. Now, in their energy, I do see you fearful that you're going to be turned down, that this person might not talk to you too, by the way, Gemini. Um, I, I do feel they are going to talk to you though. So just be aware of that. In this person's energy, there is so much confusion. This person is up in their head and they are really trapped in these feelings of, you know, betrayal, confusion, you know, wanting to be back together with you and yet feeling like there's never going to be a commitment in this connection. So, I mean, this person is definitely an overthinker and, they, they're, part of them is waiting to see, are you going to end this connection with this Queen of Pentacles, with this person you're currently with, in order to reunite with them? And that's why there's no discussion, there's no talking. Let's look at your outcome. All right. We have the Six of Wands, we have the Three of Cups reversed, and we have the Hermit. 
So justice is coming into the situation and is going to, to be bringing success as well. So that's a very good sign. Um, I am seeing that with the Three of Cups in the reverse, you may be feeling that this is not going to come together. Um, I do feel like you may be offering this person love. But I'm also seeing that you've been very unhappy not talking with this person. The lack of communication has been very has caused you to be very unhappy. But you, there's a part of you that feels like that's what you deserve. That that's you know, you deserve that. Now I do see that there is some there is success in the situation, but it may not be coming the way you think it is. Because the success is coming through karmic justice. So I'm, I'm seeing that this is not coming back together immediately. You may be offering this person your feelings and your emotions, but I'm, I'm not seeing them accepting that immediately. Um, it's going to take some time. And that's not going to make you, honey, that's not going to make you happy. However, this person in your energy, they're thinking about what it is that makes them happy. They realize very clearly that the situation between the two of you was not making them happy. So I feel like they're going to take this offer that you're giving them and they're going to think about it. They're doing soul searching here about what makes them happy and what makes them unhappy. And then they're going to communicate back with you. I do see success in this. I see it being successful. But there's karmic justice that has to be met first. And I, I do feel that that is coming in. So the, the karmic justice will come in, but there will be success here. It's just not going to come about the way you think it is. And it's going to take longer than what you think. Because this person in your energy, I feel like they're going to step back and they're going to think about everything. What makes them happy and what doesn't make them happy. Then they'll talk to you about it. So, bottom of the deck, though, is the Knight of Cups. So, there is a transformation coming, and it is solely based upon you offering this love to this person. This is what you are hoping gets you on the same page. I do think it'll be successful, but not in the time frame you think, and not in the way that you think, which is very interesting. There's karmic justice that has to be meted out before, before that can come together. All right, I'm going to pull and see if there's any messages for Gemini. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, there it is. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. And that's in your person's energy here. This person feels betrayed. They feel like you put all 10 of those knives in their or swords in their back. And then we have keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional stringing along in one night stand. So this could have started as a one night stand, but I feel like more or less this is, you know, this person feels that you were stringing them along. That... You know, you you were never going to come forward and actually offer them something. And I can see that in their energy here. So this is why I feel like uh, things ended between you and this person. Not because there wasn't feelings and emotions, but because your person felt like you were stringing them along. And that, you know, there was something that happened here that caused them to feel very betrayed. And it had to do with feeling that you had chosen this Queen of Pentacles over them. So, all right. Well, good luck with this, Gemini. I hope that this helps. If you have resonated with this reading, please hit that like button. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would be grateful if you do. Until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.